Hello and welcome to this video. Um, today I am going to show you how to use MailerLite. Now, of course, MailerLite is an email marketing system, which means it's a lot like MailChimp and all these other email tools. I like it because it's very similar to ConvertKit, which I actually used for many years, but it's much simpler and I must admit, I find that you can create better designs for your landing pages with MailerLite. If you're starting out, it's also great because if you have a list that is smaller than a thousand, you can actually go on the free account. Once you hit a thousand people, then it starts off at about $10 a month, which is really, really affordable, I find. Um, I believe the entry level for ConvertKit was $29 a month. Again, ConvertKit is a fantastic tool and it probably has higher deliverability than MailerLite. So if you have a large list and deliverability is very important to you, then I would say go to ConvertKit. But if you're just starting out and you want to learn how to create, you know, just deliver your freebies and just start growing your list, I think MailerLite is a really, really good option. So what I'm going to show you today is basically how to deliver your freebie through MailerLite. Um, right, so, so the first thing that you would need for the freebie is to actually have a landing page. And the landing pages are called forms. So when you go to forms, yeah, you have pop-ups, landing pages, embedded forms, and promotions. Now, the landing pages are going to give you something like this. So you can basically create a page. You have different elements. Um, they have a drag and drop interface. And you can, of course, have your registration forms. OK. So that is one of mine. I'm now going to show you how to create yours. So when you create a landing page, um, let's call this a test for a video page. So that's what we're creating here. Right, so the first thing it's going to ask you to do is to actually choose a list you want it to go on. Um, um, let's say I have a test group. I'm going to put these in my test group. And the first thing it's going to show you is the different pages that you can choose from. Now, it doesn't have a lot, especially if you've used um, things like lead pages. You know, the, they're going to have so many more layouts for you. But what I find is that this is actually really, really enough. Um, it does have a drag and drop interface. So you only start off with a template and then you can create the kind of layouts that you want. This is very important, especially if you have used other tools, you know, like in the beginning, I used to use ConvertKit and lead pages, and that used to come to a pretty penny at the end of the year. So what I did, what I did then um, for my smaller list, I migrated everything to MailerLite because until it, the list grows and starts paying for itself, then you know I don't have any extra expenses except for the time and perhaps um, a little bit of time for my VA to help me. So let's have a look. So let's start off with um, let's say you're selling an e-course. Let's select this one. Okay, and I just wanted to show you this to show you how easy it is to change the interface. I'm not going to create a complete page, but as you can see, you can simply hide bits. Um, you could decide to change. Um, you know, you can change the background image if you wanted to. Um, let's have a look on the edit. Um, I could decide to... Okay. Uh, <laughs> interesting to see the kind of images I've already got. So that's kind of, that image goes there and it's not where I wanted to put it. 
um, I wanted to use um, okay see that allows you to even move the form if you want to you have different settings but the most important thing is that you can have drag and drop so if I want a different sign up form I can just start creating one here So I can have a sign up form, I can have a hero, I can have buttons, I can have pop up forms, I can have the testimonial, I can have videos, I can also have images. And then all you need to do is, in the case of a video, you just embed. So it will ask you for the code. Um, there you go, YouTube, Vimeo or Wistia, and you just put the link and you're good to go. And when it comes to images, it will ask you to upload them and then um, place them. Just select them. So it's pretty, pretty easy to use. Um, you also have the countdown button, which I, I love to use for when I'm selling a course, because of course there, people need to know how much time there is left on your offer. And a very important one is the code. You can use this um, to add your pixel code right here. And that way you will know, you'll be able to trace um, through your Facebook pixel or you know any other tracking code, um, the statistics of the page. So for instance, I like to put, I like to put my code on the thank you page so that then I know that once everything has been fulfilled, you know, um, it's kind of a conversion. So just a little bit uh, of an overview of the tools you can use. As you can see, it's really easy. Um, just to show you the design section, you can very easily go in and you can change the colors. Um, it also says colors. So for instance, you can see my brand colors, which are the dark purple, um, the kind of off-white, the bright white. Um, the light purple and the pink. So you can see that it actually saves and remembers the colors that you normally use. So once you've sort of set it up, you will find that it moves really, really quick to create your own landing pages. You can also duplicate pages. So, you know, um, if you go back, you can duplicate a page. So once you've got a layout that has worked well for you, you can just go in and replicate that same layout and change the elements. By doing this, I have actually really managed to push up the conversion rate of my pages. Um, I have a couple of freebies at the moment and they convert between 30 and 38%. So you can really, really do wonders. So uh, let's see, this is taking some time to load. Um, so let's see what's happening. Right, so basically this is the kind of landing page that you can expect to achieve. Um, if I copy it up here and I can show it. So um, as you can see at the top, you have subscribe page dot three by 10 steps. Um, this is the name I gave it. I used to use a subdomain for this, so I would normally use pages.stephaniefitani.com for this, um, but I've just migrated and I'm still recreating the subdomain, so I don't have it right now. On the free version, you always need to use subscribe page. Once you, you're on one of the paid accounts, you'll be able to use your own subdomain, which I highly recommend. Um, because people tend to trust it more if they see that it's on your domain. Um, okay, so let's let's move on. So let's say you have your form ready, and you know you have your GDPR code. And you have this is just uh, available in your forms. You can just switch on the marketing tick boxes, and it's really quite easy to make it happen. Okay, so what happens when somebody enters their details? And that's what we set up next. Now, if I go back to my page, now you can set up the freebie delivery in two ways. I'm going to edit this one so that you can see the two ways. 
So the easiest way to actually deliver your freebie is to actually put it on your success page. So when you create a landing page, people will put in their details and they will be taken to the success page right away. Now, you can put your freebie in this page and this is probably the easiest way. Now, in order to put your freebie here, you would upload the PDF to your website. So in my case, I have a WordPress site. I just go to my WordPress media center and I upload the PDF. Then I find the link of that PDF, um, which you can usually find by previewing. Um, and then all you do is paste it in here. So let's see if I can show you how I would do it on a WordPress site. Okay, it's taking its time. All right. Okay, so once I've logged in, I'm going to show you in the media center. Um, and here it is, uh, which is media. Here I am. If I go to my library, you'll be able to see some PDFs. And these PDFs do not show up. Um, so they're actually quite easy to recognize generally. Of course, I have a lot here they are. So see, when you have a text file or a PDF, it's gonna look a bit like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here you go. Here we have a PDF. Okay, and here we have another PDF. Here we are. And this is in fact the same PDF. So all I would do is I've uploaded it to my media center just by clicking the upload button. And then I would copy the link. And this link, if I had to paste it directly in the browser, it would be the link that gives me the actual PDF. So no matter what website you're using, this is, the, this is what you want to achieve. You want to upload it to your um, to your media center or to wherever you can upload your images normally on the website and then you find the actual path that takes you to the document directly okay so i've copied that and the next thing i would do then is i would paste that to the success page so okay so i would put in insert link Put the URL there and the text maybe could be download your PDF. And I could do that. Okay, now um, if I had to go live with this, and I will not because this is actually one of the landing pages that I'm using. So what would happen is, I can show you how things work out. So if I go to my page, so I can show you where actually this happens on my website. So, so on my website, I actually have, I actually have this embedded right here. So if I have to, Add my name. Yeah, do. Seems different. Hello, oops. Add stephanie.com. And I'll say send me the freebie. See, it's going to show me the success page even here. Please check your inbox. Now, if I had put that, the link to the PDF here, they would have been able to download it right away. Now, if you're just starting out and you really want to grow your list fast, I would suggest doing it this way because more people are going to, more people are going to do it. Um, I, however, 
uh, prefer to go for quality. So I prefer to allow people to first um, confirm their email address. So the way I set it up is a little bit longer. Now what I would suggest is set it up like this first. So if you're going to put a freebie on your website, set it up like this first and off you go, you can start marketing. And then you can take your time to create um, the actual confirmation process, which I'm gonna show you now, which is step two. So let's say this website is live and we're already delivering um, the PDF here. So what I would do is then I would go back and I would create a different process. So, so what I'm gonna do here is I would go to automation and I would create an, an automation. Now what an automation is, it's basically a series of emails that are going to be delivered to anybody that joins the group. Now you remember in the, in the beginning when we had the form before we created the landing page, it, it asked us to choose the group where everybody's gonna go to when they register for that. Um, I actually have a different group um, for every freebie and for every course that I've had so that I keep absolutely everybody separate. Sometimes I will send emails to everyone, but that's very rare. Usually I would send tailored emails to different people. So it really helps to know where people came from. So what is gonna happen now? Everybody that downloads um, my lead freebie is gonna go to a group uh, which has the same name of the freebie, okay? Or maybe it's called, you know, lead generation freebie group. Everybody goes in there and once they go in there, they're going to receive my freebie through automation. So I could call this my freebie delivery automation. And I want it to be delivered when a subscriber joins a group. It then allows me to select one of the groups and I'm gonna select my, my test group. And then it says repeat workflow for subscribers who rejoin the same group. Now I would uh, add this if it is for a freebie. Uh, the main reason why I would add it is because sometimes people do not receive the freebie or something goes wrong and they will go back and re-register again because they didn't receive the first email. So it's very important that when you're delivering a freebie, you allow people to register and receive it all over again. Okay, so let's save that. So now the first thing that would happen is that they receive an email. Uh, okay, and inside the email, uh, what you could do is, um, let's say, you could delay it. Um, let's set the delay by, let's say, delay it by an hour. I like to put a little bit of delay so that it allows them a bit of time, uh, maybe a bit less than an hour, let's say, maybe. 20 minutes so that it allows them to actually go to their inbox and confirm their email address before they receive um, the freebie. So then you sort out uh, the email. So define email content and we can then go ahead and design the email. Okay, so we're gonna call it, here's your lead generation freebie. So, um, well, you write a maybe, uh, so dear, and you can use their first name just by choosing that keyword. It says personalization here. This is all stuff that if you're collecting it from the form, you can then reuse it in your email. I tend to just take name and email, so mostly I use name. So let's say, no, I wouldn't use dear. I would say, hey, um, 
I'm really excited. Your you want to learn more about lead generation. Um, so download your freebie here. And then, you know, um, I also like to add, you know, if you have any feedback, just hit reply and, you know, and whatever you really want to say. I also add um, in some of my automation also um, a link to my Facebook page and my Facebook group. Mostly I do it to my group. Uh, when I have a freebie where I think it's a perfect match for people who really want to go in my group. Um, and learn the kind of stuff I teach in there, uh, which is mostly about SEO, it's about blogging, um, it's about lead generation and you know traffic generation for your website. If my freebie is not very closely connected to that, you know I might let them know that they can find me on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, but if I think there is a direct connection to my Facebook group, then um, I like to show them the link. And you know you, you do get a few people who click on the group. Um, and come and join you. Um, okay, but what matters is that you're going to add the link to your freebie here, and it will happen just like before. Um, what we could say is click here to download. So we will do that. Oops, looks like I've put it in the wrong place somehow. Okay, so this is, yeah, okay. Click here to download. Okay, that's interesting. It's not text to display, that's what I want. Click here to download the freebie. And that's what I would like to show. There you go, and it's working. Just oh, I was just putting it in the wrong field. So here you are. Um, once you've done with this, so you've created your automation, I'm actually going to change this to zero. So that uh, I can test it in the beginning. So you can change it to zero to test it and then put it back to 20 minutes because otherwise you will have to wait <laughs> 20 minutes every time you're testing it. I would test it once with the time delay after you've tested everything else and you're happy it works. Um, but in the beginning, you know, you don't want to be taking 20 minutes to test absolutely everything. Okay, so that's basically how it works. Now, I wanted to show you one last thing. Um, so yeah, so if you have a look at this, when you have your landing page, you have already selected the group in the beginning. Um, hang on a sec, that's not the button I wanted to choose. Let's go changes. Oh, it's taking its time. Okay, so here we are, we're back. Now let's see if I click edit, what happens? Okay, so I think if I press next, I wanted to see the details. If you press next, um, it should give you all the details of the page, yes. So once you've edited the page um, and press next, it will take you to this. And here you can change the name. I could call it my freebie page. Um, you can have a page title. These are for when you share on social media. They will show up. So do fill them in if you want to share on social media. Or maybe if you're just going to leave your page available and then you want it to rank in search engines. But here you go. So now I have the URL. So if I copy that, it will actually give me the page. So if you're going to go on social media and share your freebie, or maybe you're going to add it to your website, this is the link that you need to use. 
Um, right, and here it shows you the subscribe group, so you can edit it from here, and it also gives you all those details for social media and everything else. But at the top here, it has a button for double opt-in or not. Okay, now it's, uh, it's very important that you leave it on if you want to verify that people have put in their real address. If you don't want them to verify their address because you want more people to register, um, you will get fewer if you use double opt-in. You can switch it off. And as you can see, when you switch it off, these double opt-in email and double opt-in thank you page disappear. So what you can do is the double opt-in page is basically that what that email that they get. So when they register, they will get an email that says, hey, uh, we need to verify that your email address is actually yours. In fact, it says click the button below um, to confirm that this is your correct email address. And then you confirm it. Of course, I suggest um, you can click edit here and change the text and the color of the button based on your branding. And then you have the double opt-in thank you page. Now this is where you thank them for opting in. This is actually another place where you could put in your freebie link. So let's say you want to, you don't want to create a whole automation to give them your freebie, but you do want to use your double opt-in. In that case, you would actually put your link in here. Okay, so you would go to the link button again, and you would put your link there and your download button here. So you can actually then edit this email, um, edit this message, which is actually a second email which they receive. And on the double opt-in page, when you say thank you for opting in, you tell them, hey, here's your freebie. I think this is probably one of the most common ones you'll see around. And Okay, it's taking its time to load, but that's okay. Um, so the way it would work out is, so somebody registers for your page, they receive the email saying, hey, we wanna check that this is your the correct email address so that you can confirm joining our newsletter. They confirm that that is their email address. If they have typed it in wrong, or if they've typed in somebody else's email address, they will not be able to confirm which is I think a very good thing so what I believe should happen is then they go to their inbox obviously if they're genuine they would find the email click the button um, confirm confirm that confirm that the button is confirm that that is their email address and they would immediately receive another email, which is the opt-in, uh, which is a double opt-in confirmation thank you page where it says, thank you for confirming your email address and, ba and bam, here is your freebie. If you have a lot of freebies on your website, I would suggest using this one because then you will probably need to create different automations for your email funnels separately. So what you can do here is you're, you're keeping all your freebie delivery separate by using the double opt-in. This is actually my, my favorite method. So your double opt-in tools, um, I'm trying to find it. I'm not sure why it's not coming up. Here you go. So you just use the double opt-in to deliver the freebie and then you use the automation to create your funnels. Um, I'm not going to talk much about funnels in this video, but basically a funnel is just a series of emails um, that helps your clients get to know you, when, that helps people get to know you and your brand when they jump onto your email list. Maybe they're downloading a brochure from your website, they're downloading a PDF, a freebie, uh, maybe an in-depth article, um, or a journal. So whatever they're downloading from your website, you can deliver it with the thank you page of the double opt-in. This is my preferred way. And then you can have your automations separate. Okay.
Right, so I'm going to leave a link to Mailer Lite for those of you who have not tried it yet. I'm gonna leave one, I'm gonna leave it under this video. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me or to pop them under this video and I will be really happy to answer you. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you again soon.